Welcome to day one of the Make Movement a Habit Challenge. Yes, this is about, like I said, we're not preparing for the next Olympics or anything like that. We just want to move. We want to feel good. We want those endorphins to hit us early in the morning so the rest of the day we enjoy, we feel loose, we feel flexible, we feel good, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Grab your chair. Grab your chair. Just a few warm-ups to get going, and I think... Let me bring one more person in here, and I'm going to mute everyone, if you're not muted already, just so you get a good audio. All right, behind that chair, good morning, Mary. We're going to open up our stance. Keep your core engaged. Yes, Doug, were you about to say something? Okay. Hips go back, chest comes down. Drop the head and neck, belly button and the spine, and let's hold it here for three two and one raise the chest up and let's step forward with that right foot toward the chair now look at my right knee it's bent we want to shift the hips forward head and chest up we're going to take that left arm over our head and reach toward the right side of the room hold that position for three two one and release Right arm now, we're gonna extend that right arm away from the body on the right hand side. We're gonna to look toward those right fingertips. Very good, for three, two, one, and bring it back into center. Excellent, let's switch it. Left foot in front, shift the hips forward. Head and chest up, we're not rounded, we're not leaning. Let's take that right arm over to the left side of the room. Excellent and release left arm away from the body on the left hand side you're looking at your left fingertips hold it there for three two one and bring it back in perfect both legs are back right heel in front we're gonna slightly lower that chest down knee is soft push that heel into the floor and you should feel a nice stretch in the back of that right leg. Hold it for three, two, good morning, Elsa. One, <laughs> and release it. Left side, left heel in front. Bend down carefully, hips come down. Hold it here for three, two, one, and raise it up. Excellent, very, very good. Let's go ahead and have a seat on the chair toward the front edge. Don't get too comfy. Don't get too comfy here, okay? Belly button and spine, those legs are out. A little, a little wider than hip width. Core is engaged. It's reach straight down to the floor, round the shoulders, relax the head and neck. If you touch the floor, great. If you don't, no biggie. Hold it here for three, two, one, and raise the chest up. Yes. Right forearm on the right thigh, left arm, let's reach over to the right side of the room like someone's pulling your hand away from your body. I guess pulling sounds kind of aggressive. Let's not say pulling. Release gently, gently. Other side, right arm over to the left side of the room. There we go for three, two, and one, and release it. Now I want you to sit back into your chair, please, and we're gonna cross that right leg over the left. Core is engaged, left hand on that right knee, and we're gonna rotate, there you go, Cindy, to the right. Yes. Hold it here for three, two, one, and release. Good, good. Uncross, left over right. Let's rotate the upper body only to the left, head and chest up. Try to keep those shoulders level. We don't want to dip one shoulder for three, two, one, and back to center. Good, good, good. Uncross. We're back to standing. Remember, we're moving. We're moving. The whole point of our challenge is to move, right? All right. Now, if you have a hand towel, towel on your body, grab it. If not, no biggie. You don't have to have it. If you want to use weights, you can use weights as well. Okay, so I want you to grab that towel and hold it about shoulder width apart. 
Okay, and a little tension. I don't want you to pull it apart, but just some tension in there. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna step forward with the right foot. As we do, we're gonna raise those arms up. <sighs> Exhale. Now notice my right knee is bent, which I want for you guys too. We're gonna step it back just like that. We're gonna continue, same movement, alternating. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. It doesn't mean go fast. Do you, alternating. Step forward, here we go. And back and switch. Make sure when you step forward, that forward foot, that forward leg, you are bending, okay? It's a modified lunge. It's not a humongous lunge. Good. Exhale when those arms come up. There you go, Mary. Exhale when the arms come up. Every time. Inhale back. Exhale up. Inhale back. Exhale up. I'm watching the clock in three seconds. Two. And one. And bring it back in. Perfect. If something does not feel good, if something's bothering you, abort the movement, okay? Immediately, immediately. Next movement, we're gonna take those arms in front of the torso, okay? Slight bend in the elbows. I don't want you to lock out your elbows. Feet a little wider than hip width. We're rotating, right? Look at my left foot, I'm pivoting. And left. Right. And left, we're twisting that spine. No leaning forward, keep your head and chest up. And rotating. Side to side, exhale on the rotations. Pivot your feet on the turn. We're going 30 seconds, we're about 18 seconds in. Good job. Should feel a nice stretch in your back, lower back possibly. Two, nice pat, and one. Back to the center. Arms come down. Very, very good. Let's put the towel away for a second. Off to the side. We're going to get it. So don't throw it to another room or anything like that. Next movement I want us to do are just some basic squats, okay? Nothing fancy. So we can even use our chair if we like. You don't have to. Now I'm going to show you a profile. Core is engaged. I'm sitting, I'm sitting right in front of the chair or not. Remember, you don't have to use a chair. We're coming down and we're coming up. We're coming down and we're coming up. But here's the thing. When we come down, we're not sitting down having breakfast, okay? We're, it's, we're coming right back up, okay? 30 seconds. Do you. Here we go. Inhale and exhale up. Inhale and exhale up. Nice, Elsa. Inhale. Good, Patty. Nice, Charlene. Excellent. I like the arm movements too. Inhale and exhale. Awesome, Nancy. You got it. Inhale and exhale. 10 seconds. Good, Pat. All righty. All right, Diane. For three, two, you got it, Amanda. And done. Excellent, Cindy. Good work. Very nice. All right, chair is off to the side. Let's grab the towel. I told you guys, we're moving. We are moving. Okay, holding the towel between your hands again, okay? Feet about smidge wider than hip width. This is smidge, okay? Big movement here. Hands are going down on the right-hand side of your body. Look at my left foot. And then we're gonna bring them up over to the upper left hand side of the body. We're coming back down on the right, inhale, and finish high on the left, <sighs> exhale. Perfect. Down on the right, our hips are facing the right side of the room, and then up on the left, our hips are facing the left side of the room. Keep going. Down, inhale, exhale up. <sighs> Let me see what's happening here. Nice, Nancy, good extensions. <sighs> Excellent, Cindy. Very good. You got it, Mary. Inhale and exhale up. Perfect. Turn the chest, the shoulders, the hips. Great, Nancy. I like how you're coming down there. Nice, Patty. In three, two, and done. Good extensions, Doug. 
Good rotations. All right. Oh, yeah. Have a drink when you need a drink. <laughs> I guess I should give you a little break to have a little sip or something. All right. Now the other side. Okay, so we're going to take that towel over to the left-hand side, lower, and we're finishing high on the right. There you go, Charlene. Inhale down the left. Exhale up on the right. Remember, go the pace that works for you. We're going by time here, not by reps, so you don't feel rushed. You feel comfortable moving at your pace. Keep going. We're going 30 seconds. Because when you make movement a habit, it needs to be something that you enjoy doing, not dread. And not like, oh my God, how, when is this going to be over? That's not the point. We want to find activities that we look forward to doing, we feel good doing, and we feel very confident doing. Three, two, and done. Very nice. Very nice. Put the towel down, please. Grab a quick sip if you need it. We're going to go back to the chair. Back to the chair. Now on this one, you may not need to use the chair. Okay, You may be able to do this movement on your own without the support or assistance of the chair. What I say is the chair is like your best friend. It's always there. If you need it or not, it's still there. Okay, Same concept. Here's our movement. Right leg is going to the right side. Left arm is going to the left side. It's going to look like this. Now the chair comes into play. If you want to hold on that chair in front of you to get a little bit more support so you don't round or arc your back, okay? That can be very helpful. I'm going to use my chair. Remember, the right leg and the arm don't have to go up super high. We want nice, smooth, controlled movement. There you go, Pat. Excellent. Here we go. Lift. And we're going for 30 seconds. Now, one thing I will say, nice, Nancy, is that right toe, when you're lifting, make sure your toe is facing forward. And I think in everyone's case, facing my direction. I think except you, Mary. You're going to be facing a different direction. There you go. Now it's going to be facing me. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's odd. Sorry about that. <laughs> Three seconds. Two. And done. Excellent. Very, very nice. A lot of core movement, hip movement, for sure. We're going to go to the other side now. Chair or no chair. Now, left leg, right arm. Okay, left leg, right arm. Here we go. Lift. And I don't know about you guys, but I have to make a conscious effort for that left toe to point forward. If I let it do what it does, it's going to go up toward the ceiling. I don't want that because, this is why, alignment, okay? We want the hip, knee, and ankle, and toe facing the same direction. We do not want to disrupt that flow for three, two, and done. Yes, very nice. Chair off to the side, grab a quick sip if you need it. I told you guys, we're moving. Back to the towel, back to the towel. Now, hold on to that towel or the dumbbell, and we're gonna step back now. We stepped forward earlier, now we're stepping back. Arms are still gonna go up, okay? When we step back and bring it together, okay? Go your pace, don't rush to these movements. 30 seconds and let's move. And together and switch. And together. Core is engaged. Our back is straight. It's not arcing. Okay, we want to keep a nice straight back. Exhale when those arms come up, opening the chest, stretching out those pecs right in this area. Five seconds. Good, Mary. Three, two, and done. Excellent, Patty. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Still with the towel. Still with the towel. This is a little bit more, I'm not going to say advanced, but it requires a little coordination, okay? I'm not the most coordinated, so we're in this together. We'll do our best. Arms or dumbbell are in front, okay? I'm going to raise my right knee up, right in front, and I'm going to rotate my upper body to the right. There you go, Charlene. And then the left knee to the left, okay? A lot of core engagement here and balance. Here we go. 
Alternating. There you go, Elsa. Good. No one said to rush through things. Remember, we're going by time so that you feel comfortable moving at your pace. So this is, you haven't been moving in a while, and this you're using as a little motivation as a kickstart. That way you feel comfortable easing in to this process. If you already move consistently daily, then great. Continue moving. Go your pace for three, two, and done. Perfect. Perfect. No towel. Grab a sip. I'm a firm believer that when we know what our goals are health and fitness wise, we don't need a whole lot of time to get benefits from our movements. Okay. So we're behind the chair. This movement is called hip circles. Okay. It's excellent stretching and strengthening of your hip flexor, that muscle that attaches your torso to your legs, okay? So we're gonna start with that right leg. We're gonna bend the right knee. We're hold, the chair is right in front of us. We're gonna take that right kneecap around in a circle, okay? Up, out, and around. Up, out, and around. Here we go. We're going for 30 seconds. Take your time. If you feel any popping or grinding, Try to make your circles a little smaller. If that still doesn't resolve, abort the movement, okay? And you can go into marching in place, all right? Almost there. Good. Don't force anything that's not there today. Three, two, and done. Very nice. Good job. That's a big one. That's a big one right there. I'm not going to say that's my favorite, but that might be yours. Hopefully it is. <laughs> Left leg. Bend that left knee, core is engaged. Here we go, left kneecap up, out, back and around. Up, out, that's it, Amanda. Up, out. Good, Diane. Good job. Keep it going. For three, two, and one. Woohoo! All right. Last movement with our chair before we do a very quick cool down. Because, yes, it's almost time. <laughs> we're going to do some marching in place, okay? Dumbbell or towel. And what we're doing is we're bringing those knees up in front and we're not rounding, okay? Or we're not arcing. Keep shoulders stacked on hips. Be in control of your movement, okay? That's part of working the muscles. Core is engaged. Here we go. 30 seconds. Go the pace that works for you. If you want to go a little quicker, you can. If you want to slow it down, you can. You have the time. Nice, Charlene. I like that. Good, Cindy. I love what I'm seeing, everyone. Keep it moving. Good, Nancy. Excellent, Elsa. There you go, Mary. Control of the movement for three, two, and done. Woohoo! Take that towel and just. <laughs> We're done. Day one is done of that challenge, but not completely. <laughs> All right, take that right arm across the chest, pull it into the body. Hold it here for three, two, one, and release. Remember, same time tomorrow. Hold it here for three, two, and one, and release. We're going to raise those arms up, interlace, push those palms up to the ceiling. Over the right side, hips to the left. Excellent. And other side. Don't forget to post your favorite move from our workout today. And back to the top. Release. If you don't have a favorite mood, or excuse me, move, interlace behind the back, chest out in front, then share how you felt. How did you feel after your workout? How did you feel during your workout, before the workout? Hold it here for three, two, and one, and release. Shoulder rolls going back. Two, and one. Shoulder rolls going forward for three, two, 
and done, done, done. We're out, everyone. Good job. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to post. Bye, guys.